फिर से आप सबको स्वागत है मेरे प्रोग्रामिंग चैनल प्यारेस प्रोग्रामिंग आज इस वीडियो में हम देखेंगे लीनियर सर्च ये लीनियर सर्च होता क्या है ये कैसे काम करता है इसका एल्गोरिदम क्या है और इसको प्रोग्राम में कैसे इंप्लीमेंट किया जाता है ये सारे चीज हम इस वीडियो में देखेंगे तो चलो बढ़ते हैं लीनियर सर्च के तरफ सो लेट सी वट आर दी रिक्विजाइट नॉलेज दैट वी नीड फॉर लीनियर सर्च फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल we need an array we need an array okay now array must contain some element array mein kuch value hona chahiye to abhi jaake to aap dhoondoge usme khali array hai to kya dhoondoge usme theek hai chalo next one is your searching element aap kya dhoondna chahte ho in this case i have taken an example called seven mujhe sat dhoondna hai now the next one is your index position array index position always starts from zero and the next one is one added to the previous one like this 0 1 2 up to end of the array uske baad chalte hain the most important part is your found index ye kya hota hai found index jahan pe aapko number mil raha hai wahi ho gaya aapka found index so agar wo hai to humne minus q le rakha hai yahan pe minus 1 kyun hai iska value look at this all the index positions are positive now Seven is found at two index position, which is a positive one. But negative indexing, so it has no value. That's why we have negative value le rakha hai, not found case. Ke liye. Chalo, we find seven here. Seven is found at two index position. In that case, what will happen? This minus one will be replaced by your two. That means my found index is two. Suppose I need to search thirty-two. Look at this over here. Thirty-two is not available. Sorry, thirty-two is available in my array. So in that case, the index position is three. So your minus one will be replaced by your three. Minus one, क्या हो जाएगा? Replace हो जाएगा भी three में. चलो, fifty-five लेते हैं. Now fifty-five is not available in this array. In that case, none of this value will be stored in this position. So it will be your minus one only. अब क्या हो जाएगा? Index position आपका change नहीं हुआ. Minus one है. That means not found. तो चलो देखते हैं ये सर्च कैसे करता है आई नीड टू कंपेयर वेदर द सर्चिंग एलिमेंट इज अवेलेबल इन द लिस्ट और नॉट सो फॉर कंपेरिजन आई विल यूज इफ कंडीशन तो इसीलिए मैंने इफ चूज किया होगा उसके बाद क्या कंपेयर करना है आई विल चेक द फर्स्ट एलिमेंट ऑफ द एरे दैट इज ट्वेंटी इज इट इक्वल्स टू इसीलिए हमने डबल इक्व टू लिया दिस इज अ रिलेशनल ऑपरेटर टू कंपेयर टू वैल्यूज इसीलिए डबल इक्व टू Now what I want to compare? I want to compare the searching element that is your seven, which is fixed. So now twenty is equals to seven. It is false. So that's why it is going to check the next value called your fifty. So how? Again, it will check fifty because I will move to the next index position now. That is your fifty. Now fifty is going to compare with your seven again. Now again, it is false. Now. After that, again we'll move towards the next one. The next one is your seven. Seven is equals to seven. Yes, it is true. Look at this. Seven is equals to seven. True. So found index position needs to be changed. So that's why I'm changing my found index position to index position two because seven is found at index position two. So now look at this. My found index position is changed to two. So that's why found index is not minus one now. It is a found case. So let's check a not found case. So I am now searching for thirty. My searching element is thirty. So I will check if twenty because my loop will start from first index position. The first index position value is twenty. This equals to thirty. This one is my fix. Searching element is fix. Now it is false. It is false. So let's check for the next one. So the next one is my fifteen. Next index position is fifteen. So fifteen is equals to thirty. Again, it is false. Next is my seven. Your second index position. Now look at this. Seven is equals to thirty. It is false. Now I will move to the next index position. The next index position is my third index position. That is the value is thirty-two. So that's why thirty-two is equals to thirty. Again, it is false. So Now I have reached end of the array, but I have not found because of that reason this found index position is not changed. Look at this; it is your minus one only. So 
So that's why at the end of the loop, I will check is it minus 1? Yes, found index position value is minus 1. So that's why it is not found. Now it's the time for algorithm. So algorithm is nothing but whatever we have seen in our example. Step by step, we'll write it in our simple English. Hello, start karte hain. Now we have seen that I need to search each element of an array. So the searching technique needs each index position of the array. So that means I need a loop. So that's why my loop index position will be zero. Now why it is zero? Because I need to search in an array and the array starting index position is zero. That's why my loop initial value is zero. And also I need to make the found status as minus one. Already I told you why found status is minus one because initially I'm thinking the element is not found. Now for the not found, the invalid index position is your negative one. So that's why I have taken found status is your minus one. The next is says that repeat step three and four. This step three and step four I need to repeat. So what is there in a step three and step four? We'll see later on. While kab tak ye chalega step three and step four? While the index position is less than the length. Jab tak mera searching index array ka index length se kam hai. अगर लेंथ से ज्यादा हो गया या फिर लेंथ हो गया तो एंड ऑफ द एरे तो हम लोग रीच कर गए ठीक है ओके ना उसके बाद क्या करना है मुझे कंपेयर करना है इसीलिए मुझे इफ का जरूरत पड़ेगा इफ क्या कंपेयर करना है एरे का इंडेक्स पोजीशन कंपेयर करना है अब लूप में जो आप वेरिएबल लिए हो जो जीरो वन टू ओके एरे का लेंथ तक जा रहा है वो क्या है वो आपका इंडेक्स पोजिशन है इसीलिए I have given over here array i index position which is initially 0. Next time it is 1, next time it is 2. And this value of the array current index position is equals to the searching element. So, this match ho gaya. Match ho gaya matlab mujhe kya karna hai? Found status ko change karna hai. Piche jao, example ko dekho, samaj mein aajaga pura clearly. So, kya karna hai mujhe? Found status ko change karna hai i mein. What is i? i is your loop variable. What is the loop variable? It is nothing but the index position of your array. Now if it is matching, that means this is my found index position. So that's why I am changing the found index position. Now after that I will stop the loop because the number is found. So I need to come out of the loop. I don't need to search anymore. So that's why in order to come out of the loop, I need the break statement. So that's why I am using break keyword to come out of the loop. Agar ये मैच नहीं कर रहा है ये वाला लुक एट दिस स्टेप 3 अगर ये मैच नहीं कर रहा है तो मुझे क्या करना है इंडेक्स पोजीशन को बढ़ाना है मतलब 0 से 1 जाना है फिर 1 से 2 जाना है जब तक ये मैच नहीं करता या फिर एरे का एंड में रीच नहीं कर पाता अब जब मैं लूप से बाहर आ जाऊंगा दो केस में मैं लूप से बाहर आ रहा हूं नंबर 1 आई हैव रीच एंड ऑफ द लूप और एंड ऑफ द एरे नंबर 2 आई फाउंड the searching element. Mujhe searching element mil gaya. So break laga ke mein bahar a raha. So what are maybe when I am coming out of it, I will check whether my found status value is minus 1. Agar found status ka value minus 1 hai, to obviously it is not found. Agar minus 1 nahi hai, to mujhe kya dikhana hai? Element found at index position. Index position kaun sa hai? Your found status. Kyunke humne yahan pe update kiya tha. तो समझ में आया अल्गोरिथम तो चलो इसको प्रोग्राम में इंप्लीमेंट करते हैं अभी नाउ लेट्स स्टार्ट आवर कोडिंग सो आई नीड टू एक्सेप्ट डाटा इनटू एन एरे सो दैट्स व्हाई आई नीड टू टेक द हेल्प ऑफ योर स्कैनर क्लास दैट्स व्हाई आई नीड इंपोर्ट java.util.star नाउ आफ्टर दैट आई नीड टू डिक्लेअर एन क्लास पब्लिक क्लास देन क्लास नेम आई हैव टेकन चेक यू कैन टेक एनी now after that we have to write public static void main from where the program execution will start. Now it takes a command line argument. In my next video I will tell you what is command line argument and how to use command line argument. Now it is of string type and it is an array that is why empty square bracket. Now after this I need to create a scanner class object. So scanner sc is equal to new scanner. System dot in. 
Look at this. Scanner is the class name. SC is an object. Is equals to new is a keyword which is going to create an object. Now which object it will create? Scanner class object. Now it takes parameter for system dot in. That means system input device it is going to use. So scanner class object is created. After that I will create an array. So I want to store integer value. That's why I write is integer. Empty square bracket indicates it is an array. My array name is called arr is equal to new int within square bracket. I am saying size is four. Then ends with semicolon. Let's explain this. Int is the data type. Empty square bracket indicates it is an array. Arr is the array name. New is your keyword which is going to create. What it is going to create? What is going to allocate? It is going to allocate memory for integer. How many integers? This four. So array is created. Now after that, I need to accept data. Now as we know that I need to accept data for each element. That means in this case, I want to accept four elements. So that's why I need a loop. So that's why for for int int x is equal to zero. X is less than your arr dot dot length. Then x plus plus. So let's explain this one. My array index position starts from zero, so this loop is taken for the index position. So that's why it starts from zero. Now I want to reach till the end of the array. So that's why x is less than length of the array because the last index position is one less than the length. So that's why it is less than. Then I have to move to the next only index position, which is plus one. So that's why x plus plus. Now what I need to do? I need to accept data. I need to store it in array. So that's why I will use arr. Arr. Which position I will store? Zero, one, two. Which value is going like this? X is moving like this. So that's why I put x is equal to scanner object is your sc dot next int. Next int is method which is used to accept an integer. So this accept part is over. Now let's move for the calculation part. Searching technique. Now, before going for searching, I need to get the searching element. So that's why I will give a message here. Also, I will give a message: system dot out dot print enter four elements. Okay. So semicolon. I'm using print ln. So it will take you to the next line. So now I am saying that enter and Element to search. So I need to store it in a variable. So I will say int sc is equal to sc dot next int. So it will accept a searching element which will be stored in sc. Now after that I need the found index position. So for that I said found start is equal to minus one. As already I explained this one. Go back to my example or algorithm to check it out why it is minus one. Okay. Now after this again I will start searching from the zeroth index position to the end of the array. Again I need to repeat this. So that's why I need a loop. So that's why again I'm creating a loop which will start from the zeroth position. Will move to the last index position which is one less than the length. So after this I will check it out if What array current index position? Current index position is your x, which is zero, one, two, just like we did in this case. Okay, so is equals to not single equals to it is double equals to because it is comparing equals to searching element. If it is matching, that means it is found. If it is found, I need to do two tasks. One, update the found status. Number two, come out of the loop. Because I don't need to search anymore; it is already found. So that's why first update the found status to x. Because at at x index position, as already I told you, I have taken the loop for index position. At x index position, it is found. So that's why I am updating my found status to x value. Now I will use break to come out of the loop. Now I will come out of the loop because of two reasons. One, I have reached end of the array. This condition is true because this condition is true. I will come out of the loop. Otherwise, it is matched, and I will come out of the loop because of break. At any cost, I will check it out. If 
माई फाउंड स्टेटस इक्वल्स टू माइनस वन अगर फाउंड स्टेटस माइनस है तो क्या हुआ मुझे नहीं मिला तो मैं क्या डिस्प्ले करवाऊंगा सिस्टम डॉट आउट डॉट प्रिंट एल एन सर्चिंग एलिमेंट सर्चिंग एलिमेंट सर्चिंग एलिमेंट किसमें स्टोर है एस ई एस ई देन अगेन मैसेज कॉट नॉट फाउंड ओके तो ये कैसे काम करेगा पहले ये मैसेज दिखाएगा सर्चिंग एलिमेंट अब इसी वेरिएबल में जो वैल्यू स्टोर है फाइव टेन फिफ्टीन जो कोई भी वैल्यू आपने दिया है वही दिखाएगा सर्चिंग एलिमेंट सपोज आई हैव एंटर फिफ्टीन डिस्प्ले करवाएगा सर्चिंग एलिमेंट फिफ्टीन नॉट फाउंड अदरवाइज अदरवाइज इट इज फाउंड तो मैसेज क्या दिखाएंगे हम लोग सर्चिंग एलिमेंट अगेन एस सी फाउंड कहां पर मिला मुझे एट कौन सा इंडेक्स क्वेश्चन में मिला एफ एस इंडेक्स पोजिशन नाउ लेट्स रन दिस वन look at this it is saying enter four elements look at over here we have given the message enter four elements so this message is coming after that i am having a loop to accept the data suppose i am saying 77 88 99 55 okay now first i will give not found case suppose i am saying that my value is 86 look at this 86 is not available in the array so When I'm pressing enter key, it is displaying searching element. Look at this. The message is your searching element. That's why it is displaying searching element. उसके बाद S E S E में हमने क्या एंट्री किया था? 86. So that's why it is displaying searching element 86. This variable is replaced by this value 86. उसके बाद हमने क्या दिया था? Not found is given in the double quotes. That's why the message is coming like this. Look at this. Not found. Okay. Now let's run this again. Now we'll look for the again the same value eighty eight ninety nine sixty six. Now look at this searching element. Now I'm giving the searching element for sixty six. Now it is found. So look at this. Yes. How it is working? Let Let's check it out. Searching element is a message. It is giving searching element as a message. Now variable sc. What is the value of variable sc? We have given sixty six. Look at this. This SE is replaced by 66. उसके बाद हमने मैसेज दिया है फाउंड एट विद इन डबल कोर्स दैट्स वाई वी गॉट दिस मैसेज फाउंड एट उसके बाद हमने दिया है एफ एस लुक एट दिस नाउ हियर आई हैव गिवेन इन विच इन एक्स क्वेश्चन इट इज फाउंड इन एक्स इन एक्स क्वेश्चन एक्स वैल्यू स्टोर्ड इन एफ एस सो दैट्स वाई माई एफ एस इज थ्री नॉट एस टेक इट आउट इज इट थ्री आर नॉट दिस इज इन जीरो पोजिशन दिस इज वन दिस इज टू दिस इज थ्री That's why it is displaying three. उसके बाद हमने मैसेज किया दे रखा है यहाँ पे index position. That's why we are getting the value called index position. हो गया अपना प्रोग्राम वैसे ही अलगोरिदम में हो दिमाग में रखो उसको इंप्लीमेंट करो प्रोग्राम में आपका प्रोग्राम हो जाएगा अगर आपको ऐसा ही किसी और प्रोग्राम की जरूरत है या फिर कुछ और अलगोरिदम की जरूरत है आप बेझिझक मेरे कमेंट सेक्शन में दे दीजिए आपके लिए वीडियो बन जाएगा अगर आपको मेरा ये वीडियो पसंद आया आप जाके लाइक मार दीजिए और सब्सक्राइब मार दीजिए जिसकी वजह से आप मुझे एनकरेज करोगे ऐसे ही और वीडियो बनाने के लिए और दूसरी चीज है आप अगर बेल बटन मारोगे तो मेरा कोई भी नया वीडियो आता है तो आपके पास नोटिफिकेशन पहुंच जाएगा अगर आपको ऐसे ही सारे वीडियो देखना है एमसीक्यू देखना है या फिर लूप के बारे में जानना है मेरा कोई नया वीडियो के बारे में जानना है तो सब्सक्राइब करना मत भूलना